This episode from Drawing with Gloves is about a car from an Italian company, which was a pioneer in tuning since the 1920s. It started to make its own cars after World War II. Hi, my name is Cor, and welcome to my channel, Driving with Gloves. I always drive with car gloves. Your question might be, why do I drive with gloves? And my answer is, why not? Have you ever heard of the Carmex Seata? No, not Miata, because this review is not about Mazda. Neither did I say Matra. No, listen properly. I said Seata. Well, I do not claim that I had heard from this car make before, but it was an Italian car make which existed between 1926 and 1970. So it existed for 44 years, and although I'm a proper petrol head, I had no clue. Fortunately, I was contacted by Autofogo that they have something very special for me. So here I am. This is Autofogo, and they just moved to Rothenburg in Switzerland. And this is the car they were talking about, a Seata 1300 Coupe. Seata is a shortage for Società Italiana Applicazioni Trasformazioni Automobilistiche, what in English means that it was one of the earliest tuning companies in the world. So, let's get in and drive. Hi. Huh? What's wrong? Can't I drive anymore or something wrong with the car? Ah! I see why I can't drive. You see? Here I go. When Seattle was founded in Turin in 1926, they started with performance enhancement in engines from Fiat. After World War II, they started to create their own cars. They produced elegant and fast sports cars like the Seattle Daina, the Amica or the 208S. The 208S was based on the wonderful Fiat Otto V, the 8V, but could also be equipped with other engines than the 2-liter V8 engine from Fiat. Alternative options were the V8 engines from Chrysler and Cadillac, so then it became a hybrid. And what does the 28 S Spider look like? Yes, you are right. The 28 S Spider looks like the AC Cobra, and one of the first clients of the Seattle 208 was Mr. Cool, Steve McQueen. Seattle even collaborated with Abarth, but after a while they stopped the collaboration. After test driving the new limousine for over 1.5 million kilometers, Fiat decided to present the Fiat 1300 and 1500 to the public in April 1961. Based on this excellent technical basis, the Italian designer Nicolotti designed the Seattle Coupe, in which I'm driving today. So just six months after the presentation of the Fiat Limousine, Seattle presented this modern technical basis in a designer suit from Michelotti. The Seattle Coupe was presented in October 1961 from the Turin Car Show. Although the Fiat 1300 had only 65 PS, the Seattle Coupe has 78 PS. So how did Seattle manage to increase the power output by 20%? As I told you in the beginning, Seattle was one of the first tuning companies in the world. So who else than Seattle would be capable to press these 20% power increase out of the engine? But how did they do that? They mounted a bigger air intake and an aggressive camshaft, 
so the top speed was increased by almost 20 km an hour compared to the Fiat 1300. The top speed of this car is 160 km an hour and when you look at the engine you finally get what Testarossa means. But how is the acceleration? Well, it's faster than a Porsche 356A 1600. So 0 to 100 km an hour in just under 17 seconds. Although it's no sports car but a four-seater coupe, it even weighs less than a Porsche 356 1600. It weighs only 920 kilograms. The car has disc brakes at the front and drums in the rear. It has independent suspension at the front and a rigid rear axle. The gear lever is in the middle of the car and not on the steering column, as in the Fiat 1300. As I already said, this car does not pretend to be a sports car. It's just a fine looking car in which you can travel with even up to four people. And this is the fine restored interior of the Seata 1300 Coupe. It even has luggage space. The boot contains 340 liters. You have these wonderful Jaeger gauges, like you have in other high-end Italian cars. But how is it to drive? Well, it's easy to start and to drive. Well, in case of an idiot like I am, only with gloves. It does not handle outrageous, but it still handles quite nice. And you must not forget, the car is from 1962. The four-speed manual gearbox shifts smooth, and not like most other cars from the early 60s. And you still can drive very well with this car in modern traffic. That's amazing. The brakes are good. The handling is good. It's amazing. This car was first registered in 1962 in the capital of Italy, Rome. Now you can find this extraordinary fine restored car in Switzerland at Autofogel in Rothenburg, where it is for sale. that the steering was so light and so precise. You see the quality of Italian cars of this period. I didn't want to like this car, but it completely won me over. And what I said is true, because in the beginning I thought, oh, a nice looking classic car. But the longer I drove, the better it became. It's a nice car. Thank you very much for watching this episode from Driving with Gloves with this Seata 1300 Coupe from 1962. Do not forget to subscribe to Driving with Gloves on YouTube. See you soon in a new episode from Driving with Gloves.